Hi, I'm Simon Harris, Senior Minister here at Burlington. If you're expecting an online Sunday gathering, then I'm sorry to disappoint. As we've been saying over the last couple of weeks, now that we're moving into a post-restriction environment, we're changing the way that we produce our online gatherings. As a result, an online gathering will still be available on Wednesday evenings at seven o'clock. This will enable us to further combine what we do in person, we are having very busy and full and exciting in-person Sunday gatherings at the moment, we'll be able to capture some of that and share it for our online celebration. If you wish to wait and use it on Sunday mornings, then of course it will still be available for you to do just that. Please don't go away though disappointed. There are loads of worship services, talks and online gatherings available. Just uh, go over to burlington.church forward slash online gatherings and uh, find something there to help you draw near to God and receive from him this morning. Before you go though, here is a message about support that we're seeking to raise to help our friends in Romania as they help care for Ukrainian refugees. Thanks so much and God bless you this week. We've all been touched by the Ukrainian crisis and it's wonderful to see the many innovative ways that people around the world are finding to stand with the people of Ukraine. Because of our partnership with Project Ruth based in Bucharest, Romania, you may remember that Otti was with us last autumn, we have an opportunity to play our part. Project Ruth have converted the Ruth School that we helped to build some years ago to receive Ukrainian refugees, wives and children. Martial law means that the men have to stay. I cannot imagine the trauma all of those families are facing. Mishi, the director of Project Ruth, writes, Project Ruth opened on Monday its centre for volunteers to the Ukrainian refugees who started to enter Romania since the war has started. We are ready to receive at least 30 refugees and to provide three meals a day, medical care, clothing and support with paperwork at the Ukrainian embassy. Today we've already had four families come to the centre. We just received a family that have crossed the border, walking consisting of two mothers with their six children. At this moment, 30 refugees are hosted at the centre and tomorrow we wait another group. We're planning to extend the capacity to 50 people as the need is growing hour by hour. The Centre for Refugees has a fully equipped kitchen, a cafeteria, a room for activities with the children, a laundry room for washing and drying clothes, access to computers and internet for preparing the necessary documents. The Ukrainian embassy has run out of passports to issue to citizens that cross the border without papers. This means that it may be an extended period of time before refugees are able to leave Romania to other countries. This is especially the case for families with children who do not have passports before fleeing. This is one short testimony. I picked up yesterday two women and a mother with two children who came with a transport we arranged from the border with Ukraine 10 hours away. One of the ladies came with her friend that had two children only to be sure that she came on to a safe place. When she saw the centre and all that we were doing to support them, she said, I've never met people like you in my life. Understanding that her friend with two children is safe with us, she wanted me to arrange for her to go back to Ukraine to take care of her mother who is ill. I found a group of Ukrainians leaving by train back to Ukraine. On the way to the train station, her mother called from Ukraine and told her to not come back. There's no hope here for you in Ukraine, she said. She called me crying and apologising after asking if she can come back. She is with us now and will try to go to Germany. We arranged for the mother with two children a ride to the Canadian embassy in the morning to start working on the papers. Mishi then adds, please pray. Please pray for the people that stayed in the war zone and also for those travelling to find shelter in neighbouring countries. Also pray for us to be able to support each family with documents and all the other needs that they have. We will certainly pray, but we also want to give. They need our financial support to keep the centre going for these refugees. If you are able to help, would you please give at burlington.church forward slash donate and select from the drop down menu Ukraine and every penny that we give will be used to help those refugees in Bucharest. Thank you so much.